Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. After discussing the causes of miscarriages, now we will focus on the types of miscarriages because the management of miscarriage is different in different types of miscarriages. So in this video, we will study each type one by one along with their clinical presentation, ultrasound finding and the actions needed in each case for the purpose of management. So what are the different types of abortion and miscarriages? Basically, we have seven main types. First is that of biochemical pregnancy. Secondly, pregnancy of unknown location. Third, the threatened miscarriage. Then, the missed miscarriage. Then, inevitable miscarriage. Incomplete miscarriage. And in the end, complete miscarriage. So what is biochemical pregnancy? The patient with biochemical pregnancy have initially positive and then negative urine pregnancy test or serum SCG level. And when we do per speculum examination, we find out the cervical os is closed. Ultrasound is not needed in such case and no action or no management is needed as the pregnancy resolves itself. Next is the pregnancy of unknown location. So what is the presentation, clinical presentation of the patient with a pregnancy of unknown location? In this type of miscarriage, the pain may or may not be present and the bleeding may or may not be present. On clinical examination, the os is closed. When we do ultrasound, no intra or extra uterine pregnancy or retained product of conception are identified. And what about action? Beta HCG follow up is needed and the re scans are needed as appropriate. Coming to the threatened miscarriage. In this type of miscarriage, the vaginal bleeding is there and the pain may or may not be present. When we do the uh, per speculum examination, the os is closed on examination. And on ultrasound, the gestational sac is positive. The yolk sac may or may not be present. The fetal pole is there. The cardiac activity is present in such case. So what action do we need to, to take in case of threatened miscarriage? We have to reassure the patient of a rescan if fetal pole is there and cardiac activity uh, is seen. We advise the bed rest and progesterone support. Next comes the missed miscarriage. The clinical presentation of missed miscarriage is that the patient may be asymptomatic. This missed miscarriage may be an incidental finding. Pain may or may not be present. Bleeding may or may not be present. And when we do the per speculum examination, the os is closed. The ultrasound findings are very important in the diagnosis of missed miscarriage. If we find out the gestational sac, that should be more than or equal to 25 mm with no fetal pole. Or if we find the fetal pole, that should be equal or more than 7 mm with no cardiac activity. What action do we need to take in case of missed miscarriage? First of all, we need to explain the diagnosis of missed miscarriage to the patient and explain the different options which include expected management, medical or the surgical managements. We will discuss the management later on in the next video. Let us explain inevitable miscarriage. In this type of miscarriage, the vaginal bleeding is present. Pain may or may not be present. And when we do the per speculum examination, the os is open in inevitable miscarriage. And what are the ultrasound findings? On ultrasound, usually the gestational sac is there. The yolk sac, fetal pole and cardiac activity may or may not be present. What actions do we need to take? We need to explain the diagnosis of miscarriage and explain the option like expectant medical or surgical. Coming to incomplete miscarriage. In this type of miscarriage, the vaginal bleeding is present. Pain may or may not be present. Cervical findings include the open os plus minus the product of conception within the cervix or vagina. On ultrasound, the RPOCs means the retained product of conception are present when ultrasound is done in case of incomplete miscarriage. What action do we need to take? We need to explain the diagnosis of miscarriage to the patient and explain the options like <clears throat> expectant, medical and surgical. Now coming to the last type, complete miscarriage. In this type of miscarriage, the bleeding is usually settling and the pain may or may not be present. 
the cervix is closed on examination and on ultrasound we find intact midline endometrial echo or retained product of conception of less than 15 mm in diameter and the previous ultrasound evidence of intrauterine pregnancy is usually there so what action do we need to take place in such case um, we have to reassure and discharge the patient to gp for further follow-up so with that uh, we have ended the types of miscarriages and i will come again with the further videos related to miscarriage like investigations and management i would like to complete my video with this quote that life is like water if you block one side it takes other turn to continue its journey so be mobile in the life and believe in continuous hard work i wish you all the best thank you so much allah hafiz